little disclaimer before I actually get into this. I am pretty sick right now, so I don't want to make any promises about getting the next episode out soon. This was unscripted, if you couldn't tell. I just wanted to get this in here to tell you guys that. If you're watching this in the future, then it's probably not a problem at all. But for the people who are watching now, today, when this is uploaded, I just wanted to let you know that the next episode may be delayed. Let's get back into the video. Harold is one of the best characters in Total Drama as a whole. He is a dorky underdog in a series with characters who just are gifted in looks, athleticism, and brains. But Harold is like the opposite of all that besides brains. He's meant to be a dork, that's why people love him so much, and every moment that he succeeds is a great moment as a whole. So it feels like a missed opportunity in episode 13 where Harold ends up losing the challenge that would finally end Duncan's bullying. I mean, technically it did since he was was voted out, but he then had to deal with Courtney. So if I can make one major change here, Harold wipes out like in canon, but this time instead of hitting a rock, the momentum of Heather hitting a rock sends him flying past the finish line, giving Killer Bass the win. Now I already went over who would be eliminated in this episode in Courtney's video, but the TLDR is that Heather gets Gwen and Lindsay to vote off Owen, with Heather bribing Owen to vote off Trent giving her a majority and sending Owen home. Now, there is one thing that Killer Bass have over Screaming Gophers, and it's community. The schemers are mostly on the Screaming Gophers' side, and as a result, they are not nearly as close as the Killer Bass are. Because Harold is able to win the challenge for the Killer Bass, I think he would be brought into the Alliance and told that if they are to merge the teams together, this group should stay together, to which everyone agrees with that, as there is no way LaShawn will work with Heather, and Gwen only worked with Heather here because she felt angry at Owen for injuring Trent. So the merge does happen as it does, and like in episode 15, the Shauna wins and Eva is sent out. Next episode, and I can't see many things going different besides Harold being pissed he got a key that opens no chest, and Trent gets eliminated once again, which Harold is okay with since Trent and Gwen are a strong alliance already. Episode 17 and Jeff's name is thrown in instead of Owen and Bridget says no to that which has everyone vote as they will but Harold talks about how they shouldn't vote off one of their own like that and instead says that they should vote off Lindsay since she is in Heather's group or vote off Gwen since she's more talented in challenges than Lindsay to which they decide to vote off Lindsay to weaken Heather even though it pains everyone to do. Episode 18 and Harold makes a bike specifically for him to ride so when the bikes are swapped Heather gets Harold's bike and wipes out unlike in canon and Harold is able to make it first with Bridget making it second meaning Bridget is eliminated one episode longer than in canon. Episode 19 has very little to talk about as despite Harold talks about having mad skills he's kind of like Tyler in the way he messes up when it's really needed so he'd be captured by Chef and DJ would be eliminated the same exact way as Heather is here. Episode 20 and Izzy still shoots Heather, Heather gets into an alliance with Duncan and Izzy still gets eliminated. Episode 21 and the only group that would change would be Heather's which would now have Harold instead of Owen. And honestly I think Heather and Harold could actually win this challenge with Harold's constant talking annoying Heather, but also Harold is able to assemble the totem faster than anyone else, giving them the win. Heather goes to Duncan and tells him the plan and Harold goes to Duncan and asks who he should vote for, and Duncan just says to vote for whoever, they're not in an alliance anymore, which confuses Harold, and Harold goes to Jeff and tells him to vote Duncan, and he is shocked before Harold tells him that Duncan said they weren't a group anymore. Harold ends up even going to Gwen and getting her vote, as in the actual episode she didn't vote Jeff. And now that Heather has immunity, it makes sense for them to try and vote Jeff, but Harold is able to get Lashana to vote Duncan, as she probably would have anyway. Episode 22 and goodbye Jeff, it's between you and Lashana every time and sadly for this version I have a plan here for the next episode that involves Lashana, but you will get your time to shine again soon enough. Episode 24 and the teams would be Harold and Gwen and Lashana and Heather. Now Harold isn't dumb and he would know he's being played by Lashana when he cuddles up to him and when he gets his stuff stolen he starts laughing saying they fell for the bait and when Gwen asks what he means Harold takes out the real map and says what they have is a replica he made that is entirely wrong, and he knows that both Lashana and Heather will fight too much to figure that out. Gwen is shocked, and with Harold's knowledge, he would lead them back to camp, and I think Heather would get eliminated here in a regular vote or by Chef. The final three are Gwen, Lashana, and Harold. Now, these characters don't have many weaknesses to exploit, but Lashana has the biggest one, and that's her appearance. She will not allow her hair to be cut, 
kind of like Heather, so they're kind of alike more than they'd like to um, admit. However, there is another problem. Both Gwen and Lashana only show their 100% when they have a clear goal of who they want to beat. Gwen only was able to drink out of the toilet because of her desire to stop Heather from reaching the finale. In a situation like this where she is fine with everyone making it to the finale, she would not be at her 100%, and the same could be said about Lashana as she just wanted to beat Eva, even though Heather was her main target. So with that, I think Gwen overall is weaker than Lashana on the average day. Meaning the finals are Harold and Lashana, to which Harold would be able to probably do some kind of eagle mating call to calm the eagle down enough to cross over the cliff, with the downside being that the eagle now wants to make babies with Harold, and then it would be a race to the finish line with each person getting their own special ending. If you think this is contrived, leave those thoughts in the comments below, make the day yours, and I'll see you all again with the first merge contestant, Trent.